Hey guys, welcome to a quick tip tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'll show you how to make a portable Reaper install on OS X. So I'm going to download the 64-bit version. It takes a moment. And on the desktop, I'm going to make a new folder called Reaper Portable. Okay, so my download is finished. I'm going to launch that. And now I'm just going to drag this file into here instead of into the Applications folder. So the Reaper program is now in this Reaper Portable folder on the desktop. And now here, all I need to do is make a text file, a plain text file. You can use Text Edit. New document. I just go to Save, put in Reaper Portable, Save as Reaper.ini. Save. That's pretty much the only trick you need to know to create a portable install for Reaper. So let's run this, and we can look at this window, and I'll start filling it up with Reaper's resources folder. So it's going to scan my plugins, and that'll take a little while. So we could talk about some of the reasons you might want to do a portable install. One popular reason is so that you can have everything contained in one folder, and then you can take that folder anywhere you want. You can put it on a little USB stick, go to a friend's house or a studio and have your customized Reaper install right there. It's also good if you are experiencing some sort of bug with Reaper and you want to compare it to a default clean install. Uh, it's a great way of testing things without messing up your customized install. Sometimes it's a bug, sometimes it's just your configuration. Okay, so Reaper has installed all the necessary files into the portable installation folder and it's just like opening it for the first time so we have everything we need right here. And that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.